So this is going to be part two to the video I did yesterday about AMC possibly able to issue a dividend in 2022. I think it's pretty safe to say that they will have enough cash and profits to do this if the box office performs how I believe it will in between 10 and 12 billion dollars domestically. AMC only needs 5.2 billion dollars of the domestic box office to essentially be free cash flow positive and to be able to support themselves and to actually start making some money. But there was a lot of questions regarding the tweet that Adam Aaron put out about two weeks ago, essentially saying the NFTs are a superb idea, but not a one per share security token NFT dividend. As repeatedly described on Twitter, it is likely illegal, breaches our debt covenants, and or exposes AMC to huge litigation risk. We can't do it. Beware of concepts that sound too easy to be true. I want to go over this debt covenant situation. And by no means am I saying or even really expect them to come out and issue a dividend every three months. I think that's going to be very hard. Eventually, I think it's going to happen, but it's going to be very hard because now there's 513 million shares outstanding instead of 100 million shares outstanding. So they used to pay a 20 cent dividend. Even if they paid a 5 cent per share dividend, they would still be paying out more than what they previously had paid out back in 2019, only having 100 million shares. But I do think a special dividend is actually much more likely. AMC did issue a special dividend back here on September 14, 2018 of $1.55 per share. And AMC only made $110 million of profit that year. Well, net profit straight to the bottom line. So I think it's safe to say when AMC is able to issue a dividend, I think they will. After all, Adam Aaron he wants the MOS as well. He is an AMC shareholder. Take a listen back to what he said on the Q3 earnings report just a couple of months ago. I, as CEO, be required to carry eight years of my salary in fully owned or board granted AMC stock. The goal is for our company CEO to think and act like a shareholder because I am a shareholder. I want my interests to be aligned with yours. Did you hear that? He wants his interests to be aligned with yours because he is also a shareholder. So I have no doubts in my mind that they are going to reward shareholders that stuck by them when they can. Let's circle back to this tweet, though, that Adam Aaron did say and put out December 9th. And we already read this, so I'm really not going to again. But the NFT dividend situation. This is not legal yet. There is one other company that is trying to do this that has an application in to basically be approved to issue an NFT dividend. That has not gotten approved. So AMC would be the second company to do this if they were to pursue this route. But it's likely not going to be approved due to the fact that not everybody will be able to to actually get this NFT dividend. Not everybody has an Ethereum wallet, right? Everybody isn't involved with that if you're a shareholder in any given company. So who knows if it's even legally going to be possible in the next couple of years, but right now it's not legally possible. The most important part, he says, breaches our debt covenant and or exposes AMC to huge litigation risk. And that's basically the same thing. If you breach a debt covenant, you would expose AMC to litigation risk, risk of being sued. Because if you guys take a look at what an actual covenant is, and a restrictive covenant, covenant, same thing. A restrictive covenant is an agreement that restricts a company or other party to a contract from engaging in certain actions. For example, a restrictive covenant entered into with a public company might limit the amount of dividends the firm can pay its shareholders. It could also place a cap on executive salaries. A negative covenant may be found in employment agreements and merger acquisition contracts. However, these covenants are always found, uh, almost always found in loan or bond documents. So there's obviously some kind of covenant at the current moment that would restrict AMC from one issuing a NFT dividend, but also a dividend in general because they would be taking that from their cash reserves and that would risk the bondholders, the note holders, potentially 
not to get paid into the future. You can't give out your money to shareholders if you're not a sustainable business, right? If you're not actually supporting yourself. So I'm not saying it's going to happen tomorrow or next week or next month or next three months. I'm saying when they are able to, I think they will sometime in 2022. And if the MOAS has not happened by then, I think that's going to cause a lot of FOMO buyers to enter the enter into the stock i think it's going to cause a lot of excitement in general who knows i definitely could be wrong but i have not seen anything i have not seen one covenant that says amc will not be able to issue a dividend until this happens no clear guidance even granite motley fool they are one of the biggest fudsters we know on amc this article says when will amc entertainment bring back its dividend key points it's hard to see a returning dividend before 2024 at the earliest. Motley Fool is wrong in everything. So I think end of 2022, 2023, you could bring back a quarterly dividend. If the box office numbers go as I expect them to with all of these blockbuster movies, 2022 is going to be a great year. But on top of that, if you're thinking about the financials of AMC, they actually look really good. Besides the $5 billion or so, give or take, of debt they have, other than that, the financials look incredible. Comparing AMC in 2018 and 2019, the most recent years of obviously a normal theater industry, they only had $313 million of cash in 2018 when they did the special dividend. In 2019, they had $265 million of cash on hand. Now, they have $1.6 billion of cash on hand. But that's not even the best part. The best part is AMC has been slimming down their business. They're not losing market share. They're actually gaining market share by buying a lot of high-quality theaters. But in 2020, they were forced to shut down all their theaters and they never reopened the ones that were losing a ton of money. So once we get back to normal throughout 2022, you're going to see that money really start to pump. And we already see this happening right now. Like I said, we're almost free cash flow positive, but the cost of revenue, basically the amount of money it takes for AMC to generate its revenue used to be very, very high at about $4.5 billion to generate about $5.5 billion. So a pretty small profit margin there. Now we're looking at cost of revenue for 2021 at $1.7 billion. It'll probably come in around $2 billion for the full year. And obviously we were shut down for a couple months, you know, in the beginning of 2021. And that obviously goes without saying, but two billion dollars for a cost of revenue for a majority of the year to be operating their theaters once they're open full-time again 365 days a year and they're actually showing movies every single day of the year this cost to borrow number might go to three billion dollars that'll still be 1.5 billion dollars less money they're spending to potentially generate the same amount of revenue if not more revenue in 2022. I personally think AMC is going to probably have the best year they have ever had. That's only my opinion. I think there's a lot of pent up demand. Household savings, household wealth is at nearly all time highs. There's a demand, a pent up demand to go do things. That's what the analysts don't, don't realize, right? You see everybody talking about pent up demand for cruise lines, for Disney, for everything else. They don't talk about theaters. AMC is in that same sector of the economy. And overall, I do expect the shareholders to get rewarded in 2022 via special dividends as well as the MOAS. So all in all, wanted to clear up a couple things for you guys. And I did actually have a comment as well uh, on the other video saying that Murdoch Capital, it was basically a covenant that they cannot pay dividends uh, because they had this investment from Murdoch Capital. But Murdoch Capital no longer owns debt or equity in AMC. So if that was the case back last December, it's not the case anymore. So that's basically going to conclude this video. Hit the like button for me. Consider subscribing to the channel. Let me know in the comment section what do you guys think about this information. Love and appreciate it, guys. Merry Christmas. Enjoy the rest of your day. That's all. I'll see you in the next one.